and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I want to talk about our multiple PHP selector um, inside of cPanel. So if you're using our web hosting or if you're thinking about using our web hosting, you probably know that if you need to change your version of PHP for an application, most often it's WordPress or a WordPress plugin, that, that can be kind of challenging at some host. And Name Hero, we try to keep this really simple. And so we keep everything inside of cPanel so you can easily select the version you want to use, as well as add extensions, change your PHP memory limit, your upload limit, you know, all yourself. You don't have to have any, you know, complicated configuration files. Uh, you don't have to submit a support ticket to do it. Everything can be controlled um, right inside of their nice um, interface. So right now I'm just on our web hosting package page here. And so if you're following along um, and you want to log in, um, go over to account here and you might want to pause this video while you get logged in. Um, but I want to go ahead and start with mine right here. And I've got the trusty two-factor. I like to talk about two-factor on almost every single video that I do because it's um, you know essential to keeping your account safe and secure to make sure only you can access the account. So let's go to, I've got a ton of different logins in mine. Let's see, there we go. And this code expires by the time this video is over. So I have no fear of, whoops, expired, forgot to it, of showing that on a video. There we go. All right, so now I'm in my account. Um, from here, I need to navigate to my web hosting package to where I can access cPanel. So if you're following along, most likely, you know, your package is going to be right inside of here. And um, you know, depending if you have multiple packages or whatnot, just kind of keep note. Um, I'm going to go to my business at cloud account for keydiets.com, and that's where I'll demonstrate this. All right, so I want to go into cPanel. So I'll just click log into cPanel. All right. Okay, so to get us started, I just want to kind of benchmark of you know where I am with PHP right now, and this might be um, beneficial for you to do as well. Um, this kind of lets you see you know what you're using right now, and so when you make the change, you'll be able to see it in real time. So I want to create a PHP inf info file to do this. Uh, it's really simple. Um, we've got an article on our um, help desk or knowledge base. It's just help.namehero.com, and if I go down here, you'll see I've got this. Uh, little code here. So this, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to my cPanel and I want to go to File Manager. So I like to use the quick search. And inside of my www, I'm going to create a new file and just call it info.php. Create new file. I'm going to go to Edit, Edit, and paste those, that line of code I just copied. I'm going to click Save. Now, if I go to my website, so I'm going to visit website, key diets, slash info dot PHP. All right, so this shows my, my current PHP version. And so this was a new account that I created for these tutorials. And as of this um, writing or this filming, we're using PHP 7.4.25. Um, you know, when you're watching this video, if it's a couple years later, a couple months later, you know, this might change. But see, the good news is that Name Hero is we allow you to run multiple versions of PHP and they're safe and secure because we work with Cloud Linux to provide this and they actually have their own PHP repositories to where they provide their own uh, patches, security, um, vulnerability checks and all that. So you can even run older versions of PHP and, and be safe and secure. Now, of course, I recommend trying to run the latest and greatest. You know, right now 8.0 is the latest and still some applications aren't quite there yet, but you know, 7.4 is really where you need to be at this point in time. When you watch this video, you know, it might be eight. Um, but that's what I always recommend. Now, I understand sometimes you have a plugin, you have an application that doesn't yet support, you know, PHP 7.4. So you need to run 7.2. Well, that's why um, we make that option available. So let's go back to cPanel and I'll show you where it is. So I just I like to use my um, search box here. If you just start typing in select, you'll see select PHP version. Click that and you'll see the PHP selector comes up. So you can see currently I'm using 7.4 and again, we're verified by checking this here. Now I can click this drop down here and change it. So we have 7.2, 7.3, 7.4 and 8.0 and the native right now on the server is 7.4. Um, if I wanted to go to 8, I could click 8, set as current, and just give it a second here. Now if I go back to my um, PHP info page and refresh it, you'll see I have 8. 
Now, did it break my website? So let's go to Key Diets and take a look. Nope, website's working fine. Yeah, loads pretty good. So I know that you know PHP 8 is, is fine for my website to use. And, and of course, this is a default uh, WordPress installation, so I don't have any plugins. Uh, if I had if I had some you know, third-party plugins, I'd probably want to check and see that they supported 8.0. But if I go back here, you can see you know, it's certainly changed and all the information along with it. Now, the other question we get um, in concerns to PHP has to deal with um, limits. So, you know, your PHP upload limit, your max memory limit, and all that stuff. So if I go to options, you'll notice this is controlled inside of here. So I know, you know, back in the days, five, ten years ago, some web hosts, you know, required you to create a PHP any file to, that you would put in your home directory or above your home directory, and you would have to put all these values in there. That can get kind of complicated. So instead, at Name Hero, all this stuff is inside of here. So if you want to change your memory limit, which is one of the most common, right now it's at 128. And again, we can verify this here. So I'll go to memory underscore limit. You can see 128 is what it is set at. If I wanted to change that to say 368, just change it there and it automatically saves. So now if I go back to my any file or my info file, you can see it's now 368. So that change uh, was reflected uh, successfully. And that's why I like to use this um, info file, just because I can see it, you know, from my own eyes in real time, that yes, that change um, did take effect. Okay, uh, max input vars, um, that's also one that, you know, commonly if you have a custom theme or plugin, uh, a lot of times those will require 10,000. So I, I can set that there. Um, max input time 60, execution time 30. So, you know, most often, it, most of these are good at the default values, but some of these, such as max input vars, you know, I know a lot of custom themes require that. Memory limit, you know, really going to 512, I think is almost too much, but, you know, if you need to increase it, you can. Now, post max size. So, this kind of coincides with the upload max file size. And sometimes, or actually this is a quite frequent ticket we'll get in our desk that, hey, I tried to upload a file to WordPress or my application and it said that, you know, the file was too big. So this is where you would change those. And I usually like to change these together. It's like post max size, you know, I think 64 is fine. Um, and upload max size, you know, I think 64 megabytes is good too. You can go higher, but really any higher than these options, you know, I feel like that sometimes you might run into timeouts depending on your connection. And if you have a really fast connection, you might be fine. But I think 64, you know, will pretty much handle it. And you know, as I did that, they automatically um, reflected. So I didn't have to even save it. So if I go now and I look at um, upload underscore max, so you can see upload max file size 64. And if I see the uh, post let's look at max. Actually, let's go back here. Post max size. I'll just be lazy and copy and paste it. Post max size. 64. So you can see it's all reflecting. So, you know, really easy and straightforward. Um, that info file really helps us, um, you know, kind of see where we are or whatnot. Uh, most often these other values, like if you don't know what it does, don't change it um, because, you know, you don't want to break your website. And again, if you're not sure, then don't change it, but only change these if you're absolutely certain your developer, your theme, your plugin, you know, told you to alter these values. If not, then use the default besides the post max and the upload max, because that can get kind of aggravating. You know, if you have an image that's bigger than two megabytes with nowadays, the iPhones, you know, they have a lot bigger images. So that's um, pretty beneficial to do. The last part of this, though, is extensions. And so sometimes when you run a custom plugin, um, you'll notice they ask you to make sure your server has custom PHP extensions. Now, when I got started working online in the late 90s and the early 2000s, this was a headache. Uh, you'd have to submit a ticket to your web host and say, hey, I need um, whatever extension it may be. Um, you know, IonCube is a big one, uh, PDO or whatnot, OP Cache, and they would have to actually rebuild Apache and put that into the web server at that time, and so that was really tedious. Nowadays, all these are pre-installed, but only the ones uh, by default are selected. If you need to add one, you can simply select these here on your own, like whatever you need to, um, you know, add for your website. The only one I really like or, you know, really suggest that um, you should check out OP Cache. It works out really good with um, WordPress and caching, kind of speeding up your site. Um, I enabled it. 
Now, it's always good, you know, if you're making these changes to go back to your site and, you know, refresh it, make sure it's working, you know, make sure you didn't break anything. So, you know, checking key diets looks good. If I go to my dashboard, you know, all looks good as well. I've actually got some updates I need to run. Um, but again, it doesn't look like anything broke. And again, if I go to upload an image now, you'll see my max upload file size is 64 megabytes. Whereas if we would change this again back to... So the default was two. If we change that and we go back here and refresh it, you'll see two megabytes. See how that reflects? So that's another place that you can go check, you know, once you're finished, um, you know, making these alterations. Now, um, the last thing I'll talk about is the My Domains part of this here. Um, you can see that this will show you if you're coming from another web host, um, sometimes they have multi PHP manager, which is cPanel's native PHP selector, and you're not converted yet to Cloud Linux. I recommend using Cloud Linux 100%. So if you, know, if you created your account new with this, then it's going to be default Cloud Linux. But if you came from a, another web host or migrated, it's possible this could still be handled by cPanel's uh, native. And um, there's a conversion option to do that. Our team can help you do that. So if that's your case, you know, feel free to submit a support ticket and they'll help you out. Or there is instructions on here, but again, I, I like to see our team oversee that. But Cloud Linux, you know, their PHP versions are labeled as Alt PHP, and that means they have been secured. They're continuously updated. So even the end of life versions of PHP that you know are no longer updated publicly. Cloud Linux still updates and applies security patches to those. So that's why you know, I feel safe that if you have to go down to PHP 7.2, you're not going to be at risk, um, you know, as you would be if the repository wasn't um, updated as Cloud Linux is. I'll keep mine at 8, though. And um, that's pretty much all there is to this. Now, you know, when you're finished making your changes and you don't need this info file, it's a good idea to get rid of this. There's nothing really... Um, you know, it's, it's a public facing page and while there's nothing really that private, it still gives someone that could be interested in attacking your server a lot of information about your environment. So once you're finished this, I recommend going back to the file manager in cPanel and then simply deleting your um, info file page. So now it's gone and you can refresh it to make sure it's actually gone, which it is. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it, selecting multiple versions of PHP, which again, we try to keep this super simple and easy for you at Name Hero. You know, it doesn't take a, a tech guru or you don't have to call a developer to alter your upload limits, your memory limits, your max input vars. Um, again, if you don't know what exactly a limit means, um, you know, don't alter it, keep it default. Um, after you change one, and even if you're changing one that's suggested, you know, make sure you go check your site and, and refresh it and it didn't break anything because sometimes we've seen issues to where someone will add an extension, it breaks their site, and um, you know, the, the easy fix is just remove the extension, reach out to support, they can take a look and you know, see what we can do about, um, you know, is it a different version, may work better, or actually look into you know, what your application is calling for. But that's how you change all your limits in PHP, add extensions, select your version of PHP. Again, pretty simple and straightforward, but wanted to get a video out there on this. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, leave us comments here under this um, YouTube video. I'll try to answer and get to them as quickly as possible. But again, you can call us 24 hours a day, live support um, via chat, as well as our ticket system. But thanks so much for using us here at NameHero.com.